In this part we continue the work and I show you how to connect two motifs together in large piece of work. This is the first completed motif. To join two motifs together I didn't complete the second motif. I didn't complete this part and while making the last round of my spider web motif I show you how to join two motifs together. I will begin to join from the pico. This is the first point, the second and the third one. Let's crochet the joining. For this I put my two motifs their backs together. The current motif is closer to me. Here is my three picots. One, two, three. After I did double crochet, two chains, chain by pattern, and chain more, then chain, insert the hook into the pico of the main motif and make single crochet. Now make a chain. Let's make the pico. Insert the hook into the second stitch from the bottom and make a slip stitch. Here what we have, chain, continue working on the current motif, make double crochet into the small chain space. Well done. Chain of eight. Make double crochet into the double crochet. Let's make the second joining point. For this make a chain. Take the completed motif. Insert the hook into the pico. Make single crochet. Then chain. and make the pico. Insert the hook into two loops of the double crochet, make a slip stitch. I have done two joining points. Make a chain of eight. Continue working on the my current motif. Make double crochet into the chain space. Make a chain. Then chain more. And make the third chain. I did three chains. Now insert the hook into the pico of the completed motif. Make single crochet into the pico, chain, insert the hook in, into the second chain stitch from the bottom, one, two. I have done the third joining point. Make double crochet into the same small chain space. I have done three joining points. You should continue working by yourself. I'm going to complete the, my current motif and I will show you my two motifs. My small piece has three points. One, two, three. 
After that, I completed the last round. Now I show you how to join the fourth motif to another tree. At this point, I joined three motifs together. And as you can see, my current motif, I didn't finish my last round. Firstly, I'm going to join to the top motif. The joining has three points. You should make joining in the same way as I showed you before. I will begin from this point. One, two, and three. In the same time, I'm completing the first side. All, all joining points will be made of single crochet. Then I'm working with the second side that will consist of three joining points as well. I will begin from the top pico. In this case, I will use double crochet. And in this case, I'm crocheting double crochet stitch. I take they are backs together. My current motif is closer to me. After I did double crochet, I did chains by pattern and two chains for the pico. In total, I have got three chains. Now insert the hook into the Pico make single crochet. Then chain. Now work with pico. Insert the hook into the second stitch. From the bottom make a slip stitch. Well done. Chain. Make double crochet into the same chain space. Then chain of eight. And make double crochet into the double crochet. Now make the second union point, make a chain, take the completed motif, insert the hook into this stitch, make single crochet, make a chain, and work with the slip stitch into the loops of the double crochet. I have done two joining points. Make a chain of eight. Make double crochet. Chain. Then chain more and chain for the pico. Now take the pico, insert the hook into the pico, make single crochet. I have done the third joining point. Make a chain and work with the slip stitch into the second chain stitch from the bottom. Chain and double crochet into the same chain space. Make chain of eight. Make double crochet into the double crochet. Let's stop and look what we have done. Here how the my swatch looks like. I have done three joining points and I completed the first side. 
one two three i used in the same way as i showed you before now i continue working on this side this side also will have three joining points one two and three i take their backs together my current motif is closer to me as well for the joining make a chain yarn over the hook and make double crochet into the pico of the last round in the ready motif chain let's make the pico Insert a hook into two loops of the double crochet, make a slip stitch. The pico is ready. Now make a chain of 8. Continue working. Make double crochet into the small chain space. Chain 3 one two and three now take the second joining point that is pico insert the hook into the pico make single crochet into this pico i did single crochet chain work with the pico insert the hook into the second chain stitch make a slip stitch i have done two joining points chain and double crochet into the same chain space chain of eight Make double crochet with pico. Now chain and make the last joining point. Yarn over the hook. Insert the hook into the last pico. Make double crochet. Chain and work with the pico make a slip stitch i have done the second side that has three joining points then you should continue working by yourself and you need to complete the last round of the spider web motif here how the my swatch looks like in general my joining has six points firstly i join it to the top motif then i connect it to the second one that is on the left from the current motif my large piece of work has four motifs also in this video tutorial i showed you how to join two motifs please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and this is back today we have learned how to crochet simple spider web motifs and join them together in large piece of work don't miss our new video tutorials please follow us in social media and crochet with me thanks for watching